glad to see you all out here tonight. Me too, Ian! <laughs> this means the attendance is pretty good, which means that at least one of you might have seen the Instagram post I made last night about Activate the Cure. You know, whenever you sign up for a new kind of social media, it really feels like you're making a bit of a deal with the devil. You pride yourself for years knowing that even though you have a Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, at least you don't have a Snapchat. But then one day it happens. Let's say it's a Tuesday. You're sitting at home, trying to do some math homework, and you get three texts in three minutes asking you if you've seen Alex Vidovic's Snapchat story because it is, quote, the funniest thing that's ever happened, ever. No, I haven't seen the Snapchat story. I don't have a Snapchat. But the funniest thing that's ever happened, ever? Time to get a Snapchat. So you go to the app store, you download the app, you feel like you're signing up for Ashley Madison or something. You, you open up the app, you give them their, your email address, you promise yourself this is the last time you're gonna use that old password, and then it happens. You come across it. That block of text that not even Mark Zuckerberg himself has fully read. Terms and conditions. Seriously, I'd like to know why North Korea, instead of hacking into Sony's email accounts, didn't just hack into some terms and conditions and make it so that we all owe Kim Jong-un a million dollars or something. None of us would know the difference. In fact, that probably did happen. We probably do all owe Kim Jong-un a million dollars. The good news is, no one in North Korea knows this because none of them have any internet. <laughs> yeah, downloading apps is pretty bad, but I think that deleting apps is almost worse. Uh, you're looking through your iPhone, and you realize you're out of space, you gotta get rid of something. So you find it, the 2013 US Open app. Well, self, you say, I don't need this anymore. So you go to the app and you press the delete button. And then that thing pops up. Deleting this app will delete all of its data. <laughs> well, you say, I don't know, I don't want this app, I don't need this app, I don't even like this app. But all that data, <laughs> just gone. What if I want that data? What if I need that data? And it is for that reason that to this very day there remains on my iPhone Fruit Ninja Light, Doodle Jump Free, and six different kinds of Angry Birds. <laughs> While we're talking about things that annoy me, let's talk a bit about a different kind of apps. College apps. Yes, those things. The other day I was writing an essay and it asked me to talk about my favorite extracurricular and why it was so important to me. For such a grand topic that I could talk for hours about, I was given exactly 100 words. Roughly the size of one half of a freshman CP book entry. I feel like this is just a really insignificant number of words to give to such a thing. I spend all of high school writing thousands of words on things that mean nothing to me, and then I finally get a chance to write about something that does mean something to me, and I'm given only 100 words to do it in? Ah, well. It's a Tuesday, what can you do? I think that, you know, pretty much everyone's grandparents are a little bit politically incorrect, but I like to imagine that my grandfather is worse than most. For instance, he has this notion that every culture that isn't his own uh, communicates the exact same way and sounds the same. Hey, Ian, I'm really excited to go to your bar mitzvah next week. Can't wait to hear all that Judaism, you know? Hoi -ya, hoi -ya, hoi -ya, hoi -ya, hoi -ya. Oh, your grandmother and I used to live on a Native American reservation. Oh, you know, you can hear them all night long chanting, hoi -ya, hoi -ya, hoi -ya, hoi -ya. Oh, I went on a business trip last week, you know, those Japanese Sri Lankans. Let's talk for a second about something else that's really strange. Oreos. What is this? The cream, the cookie. Nothing about this looks even remotely natural. It's like a nuclear bomb just waiting to explode inside you and give you all kinds of diseases. What's most peculiar about Oreos, though, in my opinion, is the fact that they can make them any color and still taste the same, and this doesn't bother us at all. <laughs> Lastly, I'd like to tell you a little story that I think relates really to us all. Uh, you know, say you're sitting in a period and you realize you need to use the restroom. So you raise your hand, you say, teacher, can I go to the bathroom? The teacher says, I don't know, can you? <laughs> you go, yes, I can. The teacher lets you go to the bathroom, and there you go. So you're in the bathroom, standing there. You go up to the urinal, and you know, you get ready. And then, and then it happens. You see that guy. That guy you always see. Let's call him Powell Cassandra. <laughs> you see Powell. He looks at you. You look at him. You nod, he nods, and you go about your business. Well, come D or E period, 
you're feeling a little tired, it's almost lunch, you're a little thirsty. So you raise your hand, you say, teacher, can I go get a drink of water? I don't know, kid. <laughs> yes, I can get a drink of water. So there, you leave the classroom, you go get a drink of water. While you're taking a drink, you realize, I need to use the restroom. So you go into the bathroom, you get all ready, you get in the urinal, and then it happens. You look over. There he is. Powell Kazan. <laughs> and you look at Powell, he looks at you, you give him a nod, he gives you a nod, and you go about your business. Well, now it's G period. You're very tired. You want the school to be over. You want to check your phone. You want to check your Facebook. You want to check your fantasy football team and your new Snapchat account. So you raise your hand and you come up with some excuse and you go to the bathroom to check your phone. And while you're in there, who do you run into but your old friend, Powell Kazan. And you look at Powell and he looks at you and you're both thinking the same thing. How many times a day does this guy go to the bathroom? And then you say to him, hey Powell. And he looks at you and says, hey Jack. <laughs> oh, what can you do? It's a Tuesday. Gabe Living Room would like me to tell you that the art show will remain open through the intermission, so look forward to that. In fact, how he told me this was a classic Gabe Linderman, he sent me a text before I'd even gotten, he comes up to me, did you get my text, did you get my text, did you get my text, did you get my text? <laughs> no, I didn't get your text. What, what was it? What did you tell him about, about the art show? Oh, oh, okay, I'll do that. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. <laughs> uh, yeah.